Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's get straight to it. In this video you will see in which direction the price of Ethereum has moved recently. Additionally, you will find out what the technical indicators SMA, EMA, Divergence and MACD are predicting about its price and future movements. If you are not familiar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos down below in the description. By taking a closer look at the hourly time frame for Ethereum, the price went down only slight by about 0.1% in the last 24 hours and has a current price of 1350. Moving to the hourly simple moving averages, at the moment, the price is between the 100 and the 50 SMA. If the price bounces off the 100 SMA which is currently at 1338 it could be seen as a support and the 50 SMA that is at 1356 could be perceived as a resistance to the upside. If there were to be a break either way, it means that there could be a continuous move in that direction. Pointedly, the current price is above the 200 SMA, which is perceived as a strong support. Nevertheless, if there were to be a decisive downward dip, it will signal a possible big move down. However, the shorter time frames are not very accurate and the bigger time intervals like the daily should also be considered for longer price development. Jumping to the hourly exponential moving averages, the current price went below the hourly ribbon, so you should see if the price can jump back above the ribbon or it will play as a resistance to the upside currently at around 1354. Looking for divergence in the hourly time frame, there was a bearish divergence and the price already went down. Looking at the hourly MACD, the trend is currently going down because the MACD line is below the signal line. We can expect for the price to continue going down or perhaps remain at least stable because the MACD histogram shows the momentum currently being strong. Jumping to the three hourly simple moving averages, at the moment, the price is between the 50 and the 20 SMA. If the price bounces off the 50 SMA which is currently at 1331 it could be seen as a support and the 20 SMA that is at 1356 could be perceived as a resistance to the upside. If there were to be a break either way, it means that there could be a continuous move in that direction. Important to note is that the price is currently below the 200 SMA, which is can play as a strong resistance. However, breaking it decisively to the upside will signal a potential big move up. Jumping to the three hourly exponential moving averages, the current price is now in the three hourly ribbon, so you should see if the ribbon could hold support, currently at around 1340. However, the ribbon is compressed, which means the current trend is not very strong and a trend change could be expected. Searching for divergence in the three hourly time frame, there is a bearish divergence, which means the price could go down from now or at least consolidate for some time. Looking at the 3 hourly MACD, the MACD line is below the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the downside. The MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently strong and it could be expected the price to go further to the downside. Jumping to the daily simple moving averages, at the moment, the price is between the 20 and the 100 SMA. If the price bounces off the 20 SMA which is currently at 1337 it could be seen as a support and the 100 SMA that is at 1493 could be perceived as a resistance to the upside. If there were to be a break either way, it means that there could be a continuous move in that direction. Looking at the daily exponential moving averages, the price at the moment is is situated below the daily ribbon, which is usually bearish and the ribbon can act as a resistance so you should keep an eye on if the price will break it or bounce of it. The current price to watch is around 1470. However, the ribbon is compressed, which means the current trend is not very strong and a trend change could be expected. Moving to the daily MACD, seeing as the MACD line is above the signal line, meaning that the trend is currently on the up. Looking at the MACD histogram, we can see that the momentum is strong at the moment and we can expect the price to continue growing or maybe at least remaining the same for some time. Generally, the bigger time frames have a bigger impact on the price, so please keep that in mind when we show different time frames showing contrasting indicators. Also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short term trading. Thanks for watching and know that every few hours new videos are uploaded analyzing different cryptocurrencies, so be sure to hit subscribe and not miss out. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and we'll get back to you ASAP.
Also, keep in mind that you should make your own investment decisions as cryptocurrency trading is very risky and these daily videos are only an overview of trends and are a purely technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. See you next time. See you ne